Hello, welcome to Las Vegas. We are in the Mirage today and we have just stayed here for two nights in one of their standard uh, resort king rooms. Uh, it is June, let's show you where we are. We were lucky they gave us a uh, room at the end of one of the towers. So we're on the north tower and we are up here, room 0485. So we're not high. But we've got a corner room and you can see that awesome panoramic view. All right, quick uh, look around. We'll start at the front. Uh, a little different to some hotels where they sometimes have a slight cut off by the front entrance. This, it feels like it opens straight into the room, but it's still got a lot of space. See, some people say they feel like they are right by the front door. Um, but being down here, there's no traffic outside. It's not noisy. Um, if you, uh, when neighbours have come in and out, you can hear them, so if passing traffic's going to bother you, ask to be away from, as far away from the lift as you can, um, but there's a long corridor as well, if you want to be near the lift. So up here, let's start here, closet, hangers, iron, ironing board, luggage, safe, safe, and two four length mirrors and another. This is my fifth time in Vegas. I'm here again later on in the year. Um, actually, you know, this is a really nice room. It's really clean. It's not as dated as I thought it was going to be, but the bed was probably the least comfortable bed I've slept on in Vegas. But it's still, you know, I still had a good night's sleep on it. Um, I just found the mattresses too foamy. Um, there was no hole to them. So, you know, put your head down and you're suddenly wrapped with a pillow around you. Some people like that. I, I don't, a bit too soft. Huge uh, corner chair. You know, I'm, I'm not a small guy, but I am fit half of that. Aircon up there. If you're sleeping this side, you do feel it. System. The workspace, desk, comfortable office chair. Some places you just get like a dining room chair, so that's good if you need to do some work. Got all your little gadget ports. Nice TV. Doors. Overpriced minibar. Everything you need to ensure you're hungover. And of course, items will be automatically charged if you touch them. Touch them, you will pay. And these ones, and the insane price. If you are at, if you're at court out and you need water and you want a bottle of water, buy the same ones they sell here and then replace them. Don't pay what they're charging. It's crazy. Or what we do, if you go to Starbucks, because they are everywhere of course, just ask for a large filter water, it's like a dollar fifty, and then you can go to any Starbucks and fill it up for free. So we're literally going from place to place, just asking them to top it up. And they're really cool about it, so. Desk chair, let's have a look at the view. So we're in the North Tower, and we are on the corner away from the strip, which we don't mind because it was a comped room anyway, so it's not not sponsored, but it, we, we were comped. So one side. At the mountain view. I mean with Vegas if you're not facing the strip it doesn't matter you get a good view anyway because you're surrounded by mountains and in the morning I mean now it's not even seven o'clock still a bit jet lagged up at five um, you get Trump and then the other view 
it might be hard to see because the sun's still low. Treasure Island, the windows are filthy as well, doesn't help. No, it's too bright. And then there is Palazzo in Treasure Island. Uh, come up the sun. And there is a free tram if you need to get to Treasure Island that just goes between the two. Uh, if you go out the main entrance of Mirage, it's just on your left and it takes you over there. Um, they're not owned by the same company, but they used to be, which is why it was built. Uh, and there we have it. Nice room. Uh, it is, it's clean. It is comfortable. You know, like I said, the bed's not the best one I've had, but it's, you know, I still had a decent nice sleep. A little bit of dust. Check the high places. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think that's it. I'll quickly do. Oh, do the bathroom in a second. Quickly show you what you can get in the menu. You can pause it if you want to see it. Some room service. Hotel information. Stop here are really friendly as well. And we had, we did the it's like a self check in, which made it super easy. Uh, obviously part of the MGM Group and M Life. Load. Pause if you want to read it. Skip if you don't. Oh, interesting, yesterday, never experienced this in Vegas, there was a complete power outage in the Mirage, just the Mirage, for about 10-15 seconds, and it was weird. It was pitch black in here, and I'm talking on the casino floor, and for the first time that I've ever seen in Vegas, everyone just looked up from the machines and started acknowledging one another. It was kind of nice, and then as soon as the power went back on, it definitely went back to the machine. I'll just show you the bathroom quickly. It's a vanity area. Small but enough space. Steamed mirror. A hair dryer is normally in this one. Bathtub. 